Engineering students from across the state are participating in a pretty unusual competition today on Lake St. Clair. This is a cool story. It's a canoe race, but here's where it gets a little weird. The canoes are made of concrete. <laughs> Megan Woods joins us now live from Lake St. Clair Metro Park for us tonight. Okay, Megan, we're not engineers, but safely I can guess, you know, concrete does not normally float all that well. What's going on here? Normally, but this isn't a normal goal. This isn't a normal event. Right now, this competition is going on. You have students from across Michigan and Ohio, college students who are showing us something different here, proving us wrong. And in the process of that, they're learning the basics of civil engineering and how to repair our infrastructure in the future. How do you float a concrete canoe? Getting concrete to float already sounds like all the odds are against you, but Wayne State professor Bill Schuster says these students make it happen. Really pretty oh good. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's basically exercises every aspect of the civil engineering experience, and you have to understand that these are the students that are going to turn into engineers, and they are going to be rebuilding, building, and restoring our infrastructure. But it came out, so we have to... This is Wayne State's first time participating in three years, and they just so happen to be the hosts, too. The theme of our canoe this year is Spirit of Detroit. Uh, the name of our canoe is Resurgate, which comes from the Detroit motto, and we hope to rise from the ashes. It takes a year of hard work, but it's something every student involved can be proud of. The canoes can be up to 22 feet. Uh, they're about a foot tall, two feet wide. Um, but the special part is that they're super thin, and they're also pretty heavy. And at the end, they can say they're one step closer to making their dreams a reality. The whole point of Conquer Canoe gets you into like a mock like project in the real world. So you have to have a team, be able to work with a team. You have to be able to make a report and present that report. And you see right now Team Wayne State is out there competing and that is a heavy canoe. So that's why you see them struggling and you see families here uh, cheering them on. There's Ohio State University, University of Michigan, University of Toledo, a lot of different schools out here. The winner moves on to nationals in Wisconsin in June. And then tomorrow in Highland Park, there's another competition, but it's for bridges. So a lot of learning, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement live in Harrison Township. I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. I love the problem solving is I'm just fantastic. I'm stunned by this whole thing. Uh, you know. I would just put life preservers on the bottom. That's how I would make I'm it. I'm not sure work. that's... Anyone more? I, I believe you have you to have, have concrete in connection. Oh. In I have one. no idea. I like it, Megan. Megan, I'm so impressed. Next love year this we're story. moving to lead balloons. <laughs> See remember they made goes. us shoes of cement? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody remember yeah, that? Yeah, we... That, that was another In your old job, you remember that. That was a that, uh, story. <laughs>